It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. A quote from a book that has touched millions, The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Welcome to a world where reality is shaped by imagination and wisdom is often found in the most unexpected places. Penned by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, this novella has left an indelible mark on readers across generations and continents. Our story unfolds in the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert, where a pilot finds himself marooned. Amidst the sand dunes and under the blazing sun, he encounters an enigmatic boy, our little prince, hailing from a planet barely larger than a house. This chance meeting sparks an extraordinary saga that transcends the ordinary, a tale that explores the complexities of life and the simplicity of truth. Let's delve into the little prince's extraordinary journey, where he explores different planets and in turn explores the depths of human nature. The little prince, hailing from a tiny asteroid, sets off on a journey that brings him face to face with the peculiarities of the adult world. Our small, golden-haired protagonist first lands on a planet inhabited by a king. This king, donned in royal regalia, claims to rule the universe, yet he has no subjects, illustrating the absurdity of power without purpose. Next, the little prince encounters a vain man on a second planet. This man, obsessed with admiration, craves applause yet lives in solitude. Here, Saint Exupéry satirizes vanity, a trait all too common in our world. The third planet introduces us to a drunkard who drinks to forget the shame of drinking. It's a poignant, cyclical representation of escapism, highlighting how adults often fall into patterns of harmful behavior to avoid confronting their issues. On the fourth planet, our prince meets a businessman, too busy counting stars to appreciate their beauty. The businessman embodies the adult obsession with possession and material wealth, disregarding the simple joys of life. The fifth planet is home to a lamplighter, diligently lighting a lamp once every minute as his planet rotates rapidly. This character represents a critique of adults who mindlessly follow routines without questioning their purpose. Finally, the little prince arrives on a planet inhabited by a geographer who knows nothing of his own planet but records details about others. This encounter mocks those who focus on theories and knowledge without engaging with the world around them. Through these visits, the little prince learns of the narrow-mindedness and absurdity often found in the adult world. Each character trapped in their own peculiarities is a critique of some aspect of adult life, from the pursuit of power, vanity, and material wealth, to the mindless adherence to routine and disconnection from one's surroundings. Yet it's important to remember that these encounters are not just critiques, they also serve as reminders, reminders that life is more than societal expectations and self-imposed routines, that it's about connecting with others, appreciating the world around us, and most importantly, staying true to ourselves. This interplanetary journey, narrated through the innocent eyes of the little prince, offers profound insights into human nature. It serves as a mirror reflecting our world, a world often tangled in the complexities of adulthood, urging us to seek simplicity, sincerity, and wonder. The Little Prince's interplanetary journey is not just a physical one, but a journey into the heart of what it means to be human. The Earth, the seventh planet, is where the Little Prince learns the most profound lessons. Here amidst the vastness of our home planet, the Little Prince encounters a cunning yet insightful creature, the Fox. The Fox, unlike the grown-ups the Little Prince has encountered on his journey, does not speak in riddles or focus on meaningless tasks. Instead, he offers wisdom that cuts straight to the heart. The fox imparts a lesson on the value of friendship, not as something to be taken lightly, but as a bond to be nurtured and cherished. He tells the little prince, to me, you will be unique in all the world. To you, I shall be unique in all the world. This exchange is not just about friendship, but also about the importance of the unseen. The fox explains that it's not with the eyes that one perceives the essential, but with the heart. It's a lesson about looking beyond the surface, beyond the obvious, to see the true value and beauty in others. The fox's teachings don't stop there. He shares a crucial life lesson that rings true for each of us. You become responsible, forever, for what you have tamed. The little prince, upon befriending the fox, learns about the weight of responsibility that comes with any relationship. This wisdom, though shared with a young boy, is a timeless truth for all ages. And so, the little prince, with the fox's teachings etched in his heart, continues his journey. He carries with him a newfound understanding of love, friendship, and responsibility, all taught by a wise fox on a vast and lonely planet. 
Our little prince's encounter with the fox is not just a meeting with a clever animal. It's a transformative moment, a pivot in his journey. It's a poignant reminder of the profound wisdom hidden in the most unexpected corners of our world. The fox's wisdom leaves a lasting impression on the little prince and indeed, on all who read his tale. The little prince's tale is incomplete without the mention of his beloved rose and the mysterious snake. On his tiny planet, the little prince nurtures a unique rose. She is demanding, vain and fragile, yet he cherishes her with all his heart. The rose's beauty captivates him, but her fickleness confuses him, leading him to question the nature of love. He realizes that love isn't about possession or appearances, but about tending, patience and sacrifice. His rose, despite her flaws, becomes precious to him because he has devoted time and care to her. His experience with the rose teaches him that it is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. However, his adventures do not end with the rose. On Earth, he encounters a snake, a creature both fascinating and deadly. The snake talks in riddles and represents the harsh reality of life and death. It promises the little prince a return to his planet and his rose, but at a severe cost. The snake's bite, offering a return to his origins, is a symbol of the cycle of life and the inevitability of death. It's a moment that brings a sobering reality to the story, yet it's also a reminder of the courage the little prince possesses. The little prince's relationship with the rose and the snake embodies the book's central themes of love, responsibility, and the acceptance of life's realities. His love for the rose propels him on his journey, and his encounter with the snake brings him full circle, back to his beginnings. Through these interactions, the little prince learns that love is not without its thorns, like the rose, and that life is not without its end, like the snake's bite. Yet, these are the experiences that make life meaningful and love valuable. Through the rose and the snake, the little prince experiences the joys and sorrows of life, love, and loss. The Little Prince, A Timeless Tale is more than just a story, it's a journey into the heart of human nature. As we wrap up our exploration of this enchanting novella, let's take a moment to review the profound messages and lessons it imparts. The Little Prince, through his encounters and adventures, invites us to look beyond the surface, to see with our hearts and not just our eyes. The book whispers to us the importance of imagination, a virtue often lost in the hustle and bustle of our adult lives. It reminds us to maintain that childlike curiosity, to keep asking questions, to keep exploring and learning. The Little Prince's journey is also a testament to the strength of friendship. His bond with the fox, formed in the vast expanse of the desert, teaches us that friendships are built on mutual respect and understanding. Amidst the isolation and loneliness, it is these connections that bring warmth and light. Love, in its purest form, is another central theme in the book. The Little Prince's relationship with his rose, despite its complexities, is a reflection of love's power and beauty. It shows us that love is about acceptance, about embracing the thorns along with the bloom. It's a gentle reminder that those we love are unique, and we bear a responsibility towards them. The book also highlights the value of responsibility. Whether it's the Little Prince caring for his rose or the lamplighter diligently lighting his lamp, Saint Exupery emphasizes that every task, no matter how small, is significant. It's a call to each of us to take responsibility for our actions and their impact on our world. The Little Prince invites us not just to read but to reflect, to feel and to see the world through the eyes of the heart. So dear listeners, embark on this journey, discover the timeless charm and wisdom of the Little Prince for yourself.